This video is going to show you how to add our new lookup table to a patient care report to print out what the procedures performed. So we're going to go ahead and open up an existing uh, record that we have in the system. We'll go to patients and victims, and I'm always the victim. Go to assessments and treatments. We're going to open up and see that we've added a procedure in here for IV extremity. And under our user fields, I've already gone ahead and added the fact that I gave normal saline as the fluid. And what we want in the uh, report to print out is the word normal saline, not the code, but the description. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the report. I've opened up my reports group and I'm down underneath EMS patient reports and I've got one that I've created called New EMS Incident Report Form. It's a copy of this stock report that Firehouse has. I've just cleaned it up a little bit for some stuff that I like to see in here. So we're going to go to properties and the first thing we have to do is add the user field for the procedure. So we're going to open up the procedures performed query, go to properties. We need to add the patient procedure user field table to it. And it's going to be about halfway down this list. We're going to see patient procedure user fields. We're going to go ahead and add that. But what we want to do is we want to make sure we use a left join here. In case we have a procedure that doesn't have any user fields filled out, we still want it to print. So this will show me all of my procedures, whether or not there was a user field uh, filled out. We'll click OK. And now we're going to go to fields. And on our t bottom table on here that we just added, we'll have all of our user fields. We'll find the one that we just added, which is IV fluid. And we'll add that one into our report. Onto our query. This way it'll be available actually to show up in our report. Whenever we're working with multiple queries that all link together, we will get this validation rule, and that's okay. We can just click OK on that and ignore the fact that the SQL statement doesn't appear to be correct, even though it is. So we're going to go ahead and open up the layout for the report. So we're going to go ahead and go to Layout. We're going to specify query. I'm just going to pull up the report that I had just created. And by previewing it, we'll be able to see what we have already. So with it open, if we do a quick preview, we'll be able to see that we have all of my information filled out. And actually, here is our uh, here is our procedure. And I actually have my field already added into here. So let's take a look at how I added it. I'll actually open this up, because this will give you a good idea of exactly what that says. What we used, the biggest thing we used, was this code description. And what we used is code description of the IV fluid. That was the new f lookup table name we created. That's the category name we created. And then the field that we wanted it to look at, which was the IV fluid user field that we just created and added into our report. One thing to note that I needed to put the, uh, the descriptor here, what field I wanted, in single quotes. Because I started with single quotes, when I had to put the category name into quotes, I had to use doubles so that it didn't start the quote and end with a single quote and not finish processing the whole rule. Now hopefully this will allow you to add fields onto your patient care report. 